Uh, my name is Sean Phillips. This is my Module 1 intro video for AEP 800, Innovative Technology Integration. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a teacher at Tonganoxie High School. I've been here for the last 11 years teaching physical and nurse-based science to freshmen. Uh, I've uh, also spent a lot of time teaching other places at Turner High School in Kansas City and Royal Valley Middle School in Hoyt and Mayetta to make for 20 years overall as a teacher. Uh, I've coached a lot too, from head varsity boys basketball coach to uh, assistant baseball, football, middle school track, middle school volleyball. So I've coached lots of stuff as well throughout my teaching tenure. Uh, I am married. Uh, my wife's name is Tanya, and I have two boys, Blake and Caden. Blake is a senior this year, and Caden is a freshman here at Tonganoxie High School. Um, if I reflect on how innovative ideas and technological resources impact instruction, student achievement, and school improvement, I think we're seeing from an instruction standpoint, we're seeing that technology has allowed us to have a growth in resources. I think we're seeing less textbook and more outside resources that we can get from technology, things like primary sources, experts in fields. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of different things that we can use to gather information instead of just from our textbook. Uh, I think technology is allowing us to increase uh, see an increase in our global impact. We can see how things that we do here could impact the globe and we can see those results uh, or the ramifications of things that we do by you know just pulling things up on the internet. Um, it gives us a chance for greater co collaboration in a traditional classroom. You might just work with a group or a person sitting next to you. Well now we can collaborate with someone in a completely different uh, country if we would like to. Um, it allows us to know what's going on in the world a little bit more. Uh, you know, we can identify problems in areas around the world and be able to uh, solve those problems. Not just see how what we do impacts the world, but also see what the rest of the world is doing and us to be able to try to uh, identify and solve some of those problems. Um, I do think there are some negatives, though. In my time as, uh, through a teacher, I've seen a big increase in technology as uh, over the years. I do think we see some deteriorating basic skills, like in math, and you know basic computation things. I think uh, handwriting is getting worse overall. I think social interaction skills are getting worse. Now whether that's good or bad, that's up for debate. Um, but I do think that it's causing education to change in that regard. Uh, as far as school improvement goes, I think we're going to see schools start to push more towards less overall content knowledge and more problem solving. Focusing on those 21st century skills that we hear about so much. You know, it's going to be more important, not necessarily to know basics but of how things work, but also to be able to solve complex problems, be able to work in groups, be able to present our findings. Now, I think that we're going to see a shift towards more of that. And I think we're specifically going to see courses start to change. I think uh, overall, uh, we're going to see maybe my science class, so to speak, is not going to be just your traditional bio class. Uh, instead, they're going to apply it to maybe a health career uh, pathway and get a biology credit by being involved in uh, something that's more geared towards a profession. Um, I think we're also going to see school improvement start to connect more with community because there's going to be a need for various resources uh, and connections. And so I think that you're going to see schools start to work more with uh, entities in the community to help uh, improve the learning of students. Um, in my classroom, I do use uh, technology a lot. We did a one-to-one -one Chromebook initiative starting last year, so I use Chromebooks daily in my class in lots of different ways. Uh, some of those ways being uh, through collaboration. You know, I have students sharing information, working on things together, uh, doing research together, uh, you know, not just reading things in a textbook, but, you know, finding credible sources to, uh, to, to learn about different topics. Um, technology has allowed students to be more... Uh, uh, to select things that they enjoy as far as a project goes so they can present their information a little more uh, in a way that's more entertaining for them or more interesting for them. Um, technology has also allowed me to do things like online simulations. If I don't have the resources in class for a science lab, maybe I can find something online, uh, maybe through like the FET simulations uh, to uh, you know help demonstrate things that students can learn. Uh, I do have a few goals, though, that I'd like to try to do with technology. I'd like to get more links to my individual community and get more outside of my classroom. Uh, and also, engineering is big in science. I'd like to be able to apply that to uh, technology as well. So how do I enhance those practices? Well, professional development is going to be big. I think if I... Uh, uh, <clears throat> You know, if I continue to learn about technology, I'm going to be able to use it more effectively. Uh, I think I just need to take time to go identify local and, and global problems uh, around the world that I can apply to uh, my classroom. That's just something that I need to do on my own time. And then uh, I need to figure out what top technologies are going to be best for those engineering practices that I talked about. There's lots of different resources out there, and I need to identify which ones are going to be the best. Uh, so funding, how's that going to impact? Well, 
Uh, I need to decide going forward, and I think lots of people are going to be making this decision. You know, my basic science that I teach to freshmen, it really hasn't changed over the years. And so do I really want to pay for a new textbook, or would it be better to buy different tools for those engineering practices that I talked about, or more technology resources uh, that, you know, students might be able to use online? Um, funding, a lot of the cool stuff related to technology is expensive, so... Coming up with funding for that will be difficult, so probably more grant writing would be important and also maybe partnering with other courses where we can share uh, different resources so money is spent uh, wisely. And then finally, uh, when choosing professional development, I need to make sure that it's meaningful. Uh, there's lots of different uh, places that you can get uh, professional development related to technology, but trying to figure out which ones are going to be very beneficial so that money is well spent uh, and it's not wasted, it's going to be important. So anyway, those are some of my thoughts about technology and a little bit about me. I look forward to working with everybody. Thanks.